Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to be with you today. It is a Monday. I really have no idea what the date is. I just came off a weekend with Master Cecilia. I think it's the 12th of August, but hard to say. Uh, this weekend was quite exciting. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a little while. For those that are just tuning in, today's focus will be on being positivity by releasing negativity. Now, I could have said that many ways, but I wanted to mince the words a bit. Being positivity by releasing negativity. And so we're going to focus on that today. So anybody who finds aspects of that in their life, or they would like to improve the amount of positivity in their life, I encourage you to stick around. I know that some people cannot. So if you're just flipping through Facebook right now and it sounds interesting, but you don't have time, please uh, friend and subscribe me. Uh, subscribe on my Facebook page and um, you will know when I go live. <clears throat> that will also allow you to come back and watch. I have been doing these live streams for over a year now and I'm always offering, offering excuse me, uplifting teachings, wisdom, guidance, all around the nature of soul and soul wisdom. So aloha to everybody. My name is Master Paul and I am a certified uh, master teacher through the Tao Academy, uh, which is uh, an academy that is in service to humanity to awaken all souls to, uh, to their highest soul potential. And so for those that are also new, just watching and curious if they're going to stick around, I encourage you to go to my website, it's listed above. I'm creating a 12-week program even as we speak for awakening your spiritual channels. And this will allow you to have the deep understanding, not the topical understanding, but the deep understanding on the five major energy centers, the seven chakras, the energy and matter channel, and the purpose and significance of your soul journey. So for all those that are new and even all of the veterans that are joining, you can look forward to that uh, information coming out very, very soon. I have got some posts up. I'm doing a little bit more on it. Kristen will probably post that link for you to check it out. It will be a dedicated group class. I'll be using a, a web webinar structure in which it will be interactive, so you'll be able to ask questions, get answers. I might even have you come on live on the video if you have a if your clothing is decent and your background is good and you have your microphones working. But... Um, I'm also going to incorporate group practices uh, in which everybody who is registered for that 12-week course <clears throat> will be able to connect at least once a week as a group and do group practice, which is truly important. I might do it more than once a week, but for now I'll commit to that. So anyway, you can expect to that. So we've got some folks joining in. I'm going to say hello. Welcome all to Monica. Welcome uh, Heather. Welcome Lisa Prado. Welcome Shirley Martin. Aloha Becky. Welcome also to Susan Birchmore. Aloha Karen Hogan. Aspasia. Welcome. Aloha Heather. Aloha Suki Singh. Kristen tells me it's the 14th. I was only off two days. Not too bad. <clears throat> welcome Lorraine Dolan. And welcome also to Stephanie Cannon. Aloha Robin. Aloha Beth Bandarant. Welcome also to Michelle. Welcome Mithu. Also aloha to Vanessa Fiti. Welcome Dawn. And welcome also to Lisa Bellavance. Aloha Wanda. Aloha Yagdeep. Welcome also to Mike and Julia. Welcome Janice Crosby. Welcome uh, Mariana. Welcome Madrid. And welcome also to Chantal. Sorry I'm itching my nose a lot. A lot of beings of light are here. I can always tell because my nose itches. Today it's itching a lot. So there must be a lot of value in today's teaching. Welcome Master Anne. Welcome also Diane Powers. <clears throat> and thank you to the Healing Circle of Love and Light for sharing and the others who have hit the share button. Thank you so much. And welcome also to Ali. Let me readjust my table over here, get my drink of water. So welcome Candy and also Patty Laramore. 
Thank you all for joining. I decided to dress up for you today, wear my, uh, my nice white tidies. You know, like in the military, they have their, <clears throat> they call them uh, the white tidies. And this is my version of it. Hope you like it. And welcome, Ro Brett. So today, as you know, is focusing on being positivity through releasing negativity. So we will be doing practice today to release negativity. We will also be doing practices in being positive and how we can be positive. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes not so easy, especially when we have uh, people around us <coughs> that aren't always so wonderful. Um, some we can separate ourselves from, put ourselves in a different location, but there are many soul wisdoms and teachings that can assist you even with those folks. Thank you for the comments. I wasn't really look, looking for boosting of the ego. I was just kind of jammering on. Welcome to Eric Estrada. <clears throat> All right. So before we start on the wisdom and the teachings, let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Welcome also see love. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. Let us connect. Dear our beloved Creator, all layers of divine Tao and Source, all of our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, dear all lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, Buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side we love you we honor you respect you we ask for your presence dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony we love you honor you appreciate you respect you we ask for your presence at this time as well <clears throat> we are deeply deeply grateful for all of your presence your love your light your forgiveness compassion your presence in our life we thank you for keeping us awakened to your presence even though we sometimes fall asleep and forget that we are a soul first. We ask you to please bless us today to help us release the negativity to be positivity. We are very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome Giselle, aloha CJ, aloha also to um, Pat JD, and welcome also to Barb. If I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. Welcome to everybody. For anybody new just tuning in, this is called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. Through all my live streams, we always chant it for a few minutes. It connects everybody heart to heart, soul to soul. If you like it, uh, you can download it complimentary. It is a healing mantra, so make a request. <coughs> Blessing begin. Lula, Lula, li. Lula, Lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, 
Ali Lula Lula Ali Lula Whoa I was in her ling Whoa I to run run lay Wrong Lirong Her musher shang Shang I ping on a say Shang I ping on a say I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you to all the beings of light who have come source soul song of love peace and harmony for your service thank you all who have hit the share button to let other people know about today's live stream welcome also to dakota welcome sally welcome eva welcome nina aloha to everybody and uh, welcome to all those whose names I haven't mentioned. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> and aloha also to Maria. So today we are focusing on being positivity and releasing negativity. So what is positivity? What is negativity? Where do they come from? Why do they enter our life? And why sometimes is it so difficult to release them? We'll start with positivity since we want to be positive, right? Positivity is a natural side effect of gratitude. Write that down. Positivity is a natural side effect of gratitude. When we find ourselves not in a place of positivity, we are out of a place of gratitude. We are in our mind. Most likely we are in a past uh, problem or we are in a place of a fearful future. We are not in a place of the present and in a place of gratitude. Therefore, we have difficulty being in a place of positivity. So positivity means you are in a state of gratitude. Now, I understand that it is very difficult in general to keep our thoughts always in that place. That would be a lifelong uh, intention to always keep your thoughts, your heart, your words, your everything in that place of positivity. At least once a day I find myself getting yanked out of it by my own push buttons. We all have our versions of those push buttons. Regardless, when we make a consistent and conscious effort to stay in the place of gratitude, we can uh, maintain a positive space and outlook. Why is it important to maintain a positive space and outlook? Well, if you're here, that means you're all aware on a reasonable level. Every single one of you would not be watching a live stream of this nature if you didn't have a spiritual seed in your body. So you're here. That means you're also aware of the nature of things like manifestation. So manifestation is both individual and group. As a collective society, humanity has created the world we live in. Not so wonderful in most cases, but there's a big move towards light. So there's a big move towards positivity. Individually, we, you have created the world you live in. Now, uh, part of it is conscious, part of it is unconscious. The conscious parts are the ones that you like to take responsibility for, the ones that you're happy with. You like taking responsibility for those. Uh, you can be very positive and happy about those. It might even be grateful for those. But anything that does not fall in the area of positivity, we like to point the finger outside of us. And we say it's my husband, my significant other, that coworker. It's, you know, blame anybody except yourself. So part of being in a place of positivity is recognizing that you have to be responsible and part of your responsibility is to stay in a place of gratitude. 
when you're in a place of gratitude and a place of positivity you by default are creating a better future think about that you, you go you watch all of these videos all of these teachings on how to manifest but if all you did was focus on gratitude and positivity you have a good pathway to bring forth much better manifestations you get a bill okay you have a choice to have a negative response to it but you also have a choice to have a positive response to it how do you accomplish that you accomplish it by choosing I am grateful that I have a, a financial income or the ability to pay for this bill this company has served me they have kept the lights on which has kept my refrigerator running which has kept food in my refrigerator they have allowed me to uh, you know to receive this this and that benefit um, and therefore I have this bill so why would I want to have negativity towards this I choose instead to have a positive mindset so you can take anything that we view with negativity and turn it into something that you have gratitude for the gratitude creates a positive energetic field and in return that positive energetic field when we enter the uh, the remainder of our day or even the next hour that positive energy because of gratitude because we were conscious and uh, uh, chose responsibility for the moment will allow us to deal with whatever comes to us now what always comes to us through the course of a day is not always positive stuff. We have uh, people in our lives that are very unpleasant people. We have the necessity to, to transport ourselves around in which we run into people that do not have the same mindsets, attitudes and beliefs that we have. And they're more than happy to share their negativity with us. We have to be the, the reason to change their lives. Smile. It's very affordable, doesn't cost anything. And not only is it good for you, which it really is, because it helps keep your emotions in the right place, it assists those others. Because you don't know, if you smiled 10 times a day to people that weren't expecting it, one of those smiles in the course of a year literally could save a person's life. One of those smiles could move a person from taking their life to thinking, somebody cares about me. So there's all these little things that we can do, but it begins with maintaining responsibility in the form of uh, gratitude it sounds very simple but very times the big way is the simple way many many times the biggest uh, teaching is the most simple teaching okay so we've had a lot of new folks joining so I'm going to um, acknowledge everybody who's jumped in here in the last 10 minutes So thank you for joining. Welcome Taryn Vick. Welcome Holly Case. Aloha Christina Thorson. And welcome also to Sarah. And welcome Tris Williams. Aloha Katie Nada. Welcome also to Linda Martinez. Aloha Pamela. And welcome also to Mega Varna. Welcome uh, Kathleen Monahan. Aloha Annette. And welcome to Becky Pritchard. Welcome also to uh, <coughs> Amanda. And Donna Fignes, and welcome Caprina. And welcome also to Brianna. If I missed you, please forgive me. Welcome to you. Negativity. What creates negativity? There are many things. Uh, the simple versions are negative mindsets. Oh, I don't even know why I do this. Why do I even bother? It's not going to make a difference negative mindset okay how do you change that catch yourself that's the first step okay <laughs> responsibility ah mm -hmm. uh, is this message helping me okay is this message benefiting me right now is it benefiting my future is it benefiting my manifestation is it benefiting my self-worth is it benefiting me in any way shape or form no now what you're saying might have in the past been true if only for five minutes but you've accepted it as truth for the last 20 years it doesn't mean it's true now so one way is to look at it and say well honestly 
is this really true? Whose message is this anyway? Is this one that I adopted from somebody else that I've chosen to accept? Mom and dad aren't here anymore, so I'm going to beat myself up. The, the belief system I followed for years isn't here anymore, so I'm going to beat myself up. You know, where is the source of that negativity or that self, uh, negative self-talk? You have to look at it consciously and say, okay, next step, I forgive myself. Very, very important, guys. It's, we don't do enough of that. You know, your creator uh, loves each of you 100% of the time. There is zero, zero judgment by your creator. You may have had belief systems that teach otherwise. I'm sorry, I don't agree. Um, your creator loves all souls unconditionally. Why? Very simple. Creator created everything. Everything that uh, separated from creator separated in the form of choosing uh, uh, choices. Each one of those choices went in a positive direction, some went in a negative direction and rebounded back to positive. Most of us are somewhere bouncing back between the positive and the negative. But creator doesn't judge those that are stuck in the negative uh, perspectives at this time. Creator loves them equally. Creator doesn't say, I, I love my left arm, I hate my right arm. That would be the opposite of, of what a loving creator would do. So know unequivocally that you are loved unconditionally. Why then do we say negative things to ourselves? Because at some point in time we adopted it. Somebody taught us. We accepted it as truth. It's not. It starts with responsibility. So how do we be positivity and release negativity? We be positivity by catching ourselves when we are not benefiting ourselves in our negative mindsets. Forgive ourselves. I love myself. Paul, I love you, Paul. Why do you say those things to yourself? Dear all the souls who have ever taught me this form of negative thinking, I forgive all of you unconditionally. I forgive myself unconditionally. From now on, I will not put myself down. If I catch myself putting myself down, then I will forgive myself again, put a smile on my face, and look for something positive so that I can shift the energies. That's all it really is. It doesn't have to be some long, drawn-out thing where you talk to 20 psychologists, where you go through a big old crying session. It doesn't need to be a big thing, guys. It only needs to be being present. Welcome to Mickey. Welcome to Seema. Aloha, Dana. Welcome. And welcome Terry Burrow. And welcome Bronwyn. <clears throat> Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. So recognize it truly is. It can be that simple. What, be, what else brings us negativity? Negative attitudes, negative beliefs, okay? So all of these can be caught. Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. Negative belief is, oh, that person's black. They're not smart. Not true. Negative belief is, uh, that person's Jewish. They'll never know God. That's not true. Um, these are things that create separation at the soul level. We have to watch those things that we say. We see somebody on the street, right? Uh, uh, somebody that's homeless. Now, many of us have open hearts, but some of us have negative thinking even when we see that, right? Why doesn't that person just go get a job? Um, we have to recognize that we are all one. And when we connect to that negative uh, thought, word, or action that comes out at that moment in time, we can reverse it. We reverse it in the moment. Forgiveness. Forgive myself. Ask forgiveness for all others. And offer forgiveness to all those others that have brought you negativity. This is how you disseminate and dissolve the negativity as it enters your life. Why am I clapping? Because this is a way to ingrain it in your head. Dissolve negativity the moment it enters your thought. The moment it enters your field. It might be an hour before you recognize it. Great. Dissolve it anyway. It doesn't matter when it enters. Give it love. Love yourself. Offer yourself forgiveness. Love and forgive those that might have brought those negative conditions to you. If you can prove to me that there is any value besides the in the moment value of a lesson learned, that, that there's a value in staying in that place of negativity, I'm, I'm all ears. Okay, to my comprehension and everything I've ever learned, the only value is in that moment. 
That's where we need to capture it. If we uh, fail to reverse that, doesn't matter if it's one hour, one day, one year later, it is irrelevant when you capture the moment of that negativity. To unwind it is to offer love, to offer forgiveness. What does that do at the level of soul? What does that do for your future? It literally is like going into your records, uh, if it's a true forgiveness and true love, and it's like erasing it. You know, you have a record in heaven, positive and negative. What do you think creates portions of your future? Your positive and negative karma, your positive and negative virtue creates portions of your future. So if you have something, whether it was one minute ago, five minutes ago, one hour ago, or one year ago, if you erase it with love and forgiveness, you have the greatest possibility of a very big positive future. Now that positive future could last five minutes, could last 10 minutes. It could last half hour. It could last eight more hours. It could last your whole life. What dictates the amount of positivity enters your life? The amount of gratitude for being in the moment. Why? Why do we want grat gratefulness in this moment? Look around you. Don't look at the phone anymore. Look around you. What do you see around you that you can be grateful for? I'm in my, uh, my healing room. I'm grateful for the calligraphies on the wall and all the service they offer me. What do you see that you can be grateful for in your arena? There are a, literally a thousand things. People, they, they don't stretch their thinking. Well, I'm grateful that... Um, uh, that I have food in my refrigerator. That's not thinking. I am grateful. Be creative. You know, if somebody walks by you limping, are you grateful that you are not? Are you grateful for your body parts, your limbs? If somebody uh, is unable to see, are you grateful for your vision, your sense of smell? If, um, if you stub your toe, are you grateful you didn't trip and break your leg? right everything is perspective when you stay in a place of gratitude when you release those things around you that show up in your face once every five minutes once every ten minutes once every hour once the people that show up in your face once every five minutes once every hour right does it matter there will always be opportunities which is the best word right because it's a positive word there will always be opportunities to convert the negative messages that either you or others are bringing to you to a positive one. Only it requires your consciousness. It only requires your presence. When you learn the power of forgiveness, which we will use in a few minutes, to release some of the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, to empower us to be more positive, you will discover that life will be easier, easier, easier. There's a few people watching that have had a heavy duty run in with dark side, and yet they still post many, many unpleasant hate about that. What do you think that attracts? Pay attention. It's not positive, it's negative. We must be responsible for everything that we think, we say, and we do. Everyone and everything is connected even those that are very unpleasant. We, as part of the entire human race, have a responsibility to bring more positivity to all of those that are not quite there. Our part is ourselves. If we can just take care of ourselves, you think it doesn't help the whole? Wrong again. We are one. The minute you start taking care of yourself, your mindsets, your attitudes, your beliefs, the minute you start moving into a place of positivity and releasing negativity through self-love, self-forgiveness, forgiveness of others, okay? R recognize the karmic cycle, guys. It's very simple. People keep bringing their negative stuff to you. Ask for forgiveness for bringing negative stuff to them. It's not rocket science. Offer them forgiveness and be grateful for the opportunity. They keep bringing you negativity to remind you that you have not been the most pleasant person at some point in time. You maybe have made their life miserable like they're now making your life miserable. So why don't you offer them love and forgiveness? It doesn't have to be face to face. Do it at the level of soul, okay? Trust me, if you offer and ask for forgiveness, somebody's always being negative, they will leave. They will just go away. 
they will just dissolve. They will no longer enter your field. If you do it often enough, they will just go away. Why? Because you cleaned up the karma. It's very simple. But we're so stuck in life. We're so stuck with getting beat over the head with life. We think we have no control. We think we are out of control. Not true. The truth is, this moment is the moment. And now, five seconds later, this moment is the moment. You will have many moments. And in each of those, you always have a choice. Which one do you want? Positivity, negativity. How do you move to positivity? Gratitude. That's right. Find a way to be grateful. If you can't be grateful instantly, do forgiveness practice with self and with others. Recognize the source of the negativity. Doesn't matter if it's something in your life or something outside of your life. Offer forgiveness. It's a very simple and reproducible teaching. Your job is to just do it. If you can go around your house and put up your little signs, what can I be grateful for today? What can I be grateful for today? You, you jump in your car and you look on the mirror. What can I be grateful for today? You get up in the morning and brush your teeth on the mirror. What can I be grateful for in this moment? Even better verbiage. What can I be grateful for in this moment? Okay? When you consciously make this shift, I tell you, your future will become better. It's almost impossible for it not to become better. And then whatever does come at you will be handled with far, far greater love and compassion. It doesn't matter what comes at you in the future. It won't have the same whack you over the head impact. Why? Because you have trained your brain, you have trained your consciousness to be present. Why do I keep saying about being present? What's happening when you're in the past? You're wallowing in pain. What happens if you're in the future? You're in a place of fear, unless you're being conscious about your future projections, okay? So if you don't like being in the past pain, and you don't like being in a painful future, be present. Give yourself the presence of being present, okay? All right, let's do some practices. If any of you are having difficulty making this shift, I'm happy to offer you a blessing. I would recommend a crown chakra blessing for releasing negativity and bringing positivity into your life. Could benefit you in amazing ways. Crown chakra blessings are only 100 and they can remove so many negative mindsets, so many negative attitudes, negative beliefs. They can change your perspective and bring gratitude. I will add that to it. Uh, the Crown Chakra Blessing will be titled Releasing Negative Mindsets, Attitudes, Beliefs and Replacing Them with Gratitude to be Positive. Okay? That's the name of the Crown Chakra Blessing. I encourage you to take advantage of it. You can, you know, uh, message me through Facebook or email or whatever. Happy to do that for you. All right. So let's do this practice together. Sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair if it's not uncomfortable. Close your eyes, be present. Be present to your soul. If your eyes, if you can see me, your eyes are open. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in, release the day, prepare for your day, bring your thoughts, your mind, your breath into your lower abdomen. One more breath in. Breathe down into your lower abdomen. Gather the light into your lower abdomen. One more time. Deep breath in. Breathe down into your lower abdomen. Connect to your soul. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved soul, I love you. I really love you, my beloved soul. Can you please come to sit in my heart center? And you see your soul coming from heaven, floating down, 
getting ready to enter your crown chakra and you see it what does your soul look like how bright is it and it comes to sit in your heart center it's sitting in your heart center and lotus position and you come to sit across from your soul in your heart center see your beautiful shining radiant soul speak to your soul dear my beloved soul I love you I am so so very grateful that I have this opportunity to connect with you I ask your forgiveness my beloved soul for not connecting with you more every day I know I have been negative I know I have thought negative things and said negative things and done negative things and I know that it has hurt you my beloved soul and our positive future can you please give me a blessing my beloved soul to help me to release this negativity and to be positivity can you please bless me to be in each and every moment in a place of gratitude I would truly appreciate that so very much and now I want you to see remember at the beginning we invited in God and Jesus and Buddha and all your heavens teams now see them enter your heart center they have always been there but now they're entering your heart center their light is a billion times brighter than your soul's light they're now in your heart center ask them to enter connect with all of them dear beloved God dear all of these beautiful beings of light I am humbled by your presence I am humbled by your unconditional love and service to me and my soul I wish to sincerely apologize God and all souls for the karma I have created that brings me to a place of negativity I ask forgiveness to all souls in all time if I have spoken negative words to you or about you if I have thought negative things about you I ask forgiveness to all souls even the ones that have hurt me in ways that I cannot even imagine I now recognize that I may have said unpleasant things or done unpleasant things first and you are simply reminding me I no longer want to be a person that experiences negative thoughts words and actions I no longer want to be a person who offers negative thoughts words or actions I ask forgiveness to all souls if I have ever been this way to you dear my own soul please forgive me I forgive myself I love myself I forgive myself for all of the negative thoughts I've had about myself all of the negative mindsets I have held all of the negative beliefs I have held I forgive myself for not being positive for not being grateful I promise to myself that I will catch myself in a place of negative thoughts words and actions I promise to myself I will ask forgiveness and I promise to myself that I will find something to be grateful for each and every time I possibly can I ask all the beings of light and my own soul to please bless me as I ask forgiveness and chant to create positivity so we will chant 
I forgive you, you forgive me. Please bring positivity. Please bring positivity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Please bring positivity. Please bring positivity. Visualize the beings of light showering you with tremendous positive, grateful energies and frequencies and all the negativity releasing. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring positivity. Bring positivity. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring positivity. Bring positivity. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring positivity. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of the Da I calligraphy, greatest love, can you please offer your blessings of the greatest love to release this negativity as we chant? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So while we are chanting, I will trace this calligraphy to serve you. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring positivity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. <coughs> Bring positivity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring positivity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. <coughs> Bring positivity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring positivity. Die, die, releases negativity. Die, die, releases negativity. Die, die, brings positivity. Die, die, brings me positivity. Die, die, brings me negativity. Die, 
I die brings me net positivity. Greatest love releases negativity. Greatest love brings me positivity. Greatest love releases negativity. Greatest love brings positivity. Connect to your soul. Repeat, dear my beloved soul and all of the beings of light who have come to me in my heart center, I am so honored and so very grateful for your incredible, unconditional love and blessings. To all of the souls that I have ever thought, spoken to, or offered negative, unpleasant actions, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I thank you for your forgiveness. For all of those who have not been able to forgive me, I will continue to learn to catch myself in forgiveness. I will ask and offer forgiveness moving forward. I will be in a place of gratitude to keep myself in the place of positivity. I am very grateful to all of you for your service. You may respectfully return. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So when you're ready, open your eyes and offer your sharing. Did you notice any physical movement, reactions in your body, uh, any emotions? Did you have any vibration, any heat, any sensations? Any aha moments? What was the, the one sentence secret, the aha moments that you received from this wisdom and teachings today? I offer my gratitude to my teacher, Master Shah. Without him, I would not be able to offer any of this wisdom and teachings to you. Without him, truly, I am nothing. I'm very grateful for my spiritual father. Thank you, Master Shah. So I wait for your, uh, your sharing. I also remind you, uh, if you would like to move through blockages quickly, take advantage of my crown chakra blessing for releasing negativity and replacing it with positive and grateful thoughts. Okay? It's a big, 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 beyond, beyond, beyond big blessing. Crown chakra blessings are only 100, and Kristen has posted... Uh, my phone number and information on the chat boxes okay and so um, also I want to do a calling while I wait for your comments that I am I have created a 12-week course for awakening your spiritual channels it will be uh, aggressive it will be hands-on it will be putting quite a bit of focus on practice uh, all of those who do this will will be required to practice daily and um, <clears throat> uh, there will be uh, just a tremendous tremendous opportunity we will practice together of course in group during the live webcast this will be webcast only not on Facebook and um, it will be for the five major energy centers of your body including the uh, heart chakra the lower Dantian the Kundalini area the third eye and the uh, Zhu Chao, the Intelligence Center. That's five of the 12 weeks. I will focus on the seven chakras, um, doing practices very specific to each one, uh, sacred wisdom, teaching, and, and techniques that I don't reveal on Facebook. And um, you will have my treasures blessing each of you during these practices. 
Uh, when I'm on Facebook, I never turn on my treasures other than when I offer a three-minute blessing. During, uh, the, during the 12 week program that I'm offering called Awaken Your Spiritual Channels, I will be turning on my treasures. So during that each uh, and every week, you'll be seeing massive, massive blessings to clear your spiritual channels, which will allow you to communicate with your soul to heaven, divine down source. It will naturally clear uh, massive amounts of your spiritual karma because our karma resides in our energy centers. Our karma resides in our chakras. People don't understand this. Also, the last two weeks focus on the energy and the matter circle. And the energy and matter circle are directly related to our health and wellness. When we have blockages in our chakras and we have blockages in our seven soul houses and our energy and matter channel, we have blockages in life. It's that simple. So when you do these practices one-on-one -on -one with a master who's got his power turned on, you will have extraordinary results. Uh, so I encourage you to enroll in that program. I, of course, uh, will be saving each of the teachings so you can go back and watch them again and again, even do practices with them every day if you want to. And um, uh, so if you come in after the third or fourth week or something, you won't miss anything, okay? So I will ask Kristen to drop that link in and you can go to my page and register right away. This will start September 3, okay? That's when I'm starting this. So you have a couple weeks to save up a little money and register for it. Uh, it will occur over a three-month three period. So there's two choices. You can enroll at a little bit of a discount for the entire three-month program, or you can enroll one month at a time. You pay a little bit more, but it'll allow you to do it a little bit at a time, okay? So I'm going to read some of the comments now. <clears throat> okay. So Seema uh, is having difficulty. CJ says, so grateful for the blessings. You're very welcome. Uh, Diane got sensations in her head like a slight headache. Okay, that's a moving of frequencies. It's a good example. A lot of people have pain in their in their back. It's actually related to your heart center chakras. Uh, a lot of people have difficulty with headache. It's related to the lack of movement through your seven chakras and the, and the uh, energy and matter channel. By the time you're done with this 12-week program, you will be amazed at how many of the health-related concerns are diminished because they're directly related to the blockages in these uh, five centers and the seven chakras and the energy and matter channel. Welcome to Missy. Welcome, Chris. Thanks for all your comments, Chris, and joining. Uh, Candy said, had loss of vibration and crying. An amazing thank you. Beautiful. Uh, Monica, she saw a huge light. It was, it was shaking and got um, misty-eyed. Lots of release. Good. Congratulations, Jagdeep. Uh, she felt the beings of light with the blessings. It was wonderful. Um, when I meditate, they come to bless her too. Wonderful. Katie Nada felt a breeze on her left cheek. She's indoors. And as we called in the Ascended Masters and Source, her soul within a purple lotus, bringing positivity. Beautiful sharing. And so Wanda says, Dagan in, which means greatest gratitude. And Master Ann says, thank you, Master Paul, for profound teachings. You're very welcome. Julia uh, felt high frequency in her, showered upon her, dissolving negativity. Wonderful. <clears throat> so lots of gratitudes. Great. So thank you all for sharing. Please let other knows about this. Please go to my website uh, and learn more about the 12-week uh, dedicated program for awakening your spiritual channels. I tell you, it's going to be priceless. Don't, don't, don't miss that one. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you to all the beings of light, guides, angels, and saints, our heavens teams. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you to the soul of Dot I Calligraphy, to all of our own souls. Countless bad-ons, please respect the return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.